In this training, I am going to show you the rapid fire vocal mixing. So I'm gonna show you how to make your vocals sound pro, even if you're recording just in your living room or your bedroom, like all of my clients in the Rapid Fire Music Academy. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you first vocal recording. So I'm gonna show you how to pre-mix your vocals so that you can set up your recording session once and then always have your vocals sounding pro. Then what I'm gonna do is after that, I'm gonna show you the actual full vocal mixing stage. So this is the exact hack that I teach in my Rapid Fire Music Academy. I've had clients who start out with no music production experience at all, like my client Ryan who ended up producing 30 beats, did five fully produced recorded songs and I ended up mixing and mastering one of those songs. All of that in the, just the course of 90 days, like Devin Christodoulou who used to pay over $1,000 per song and ended up getting three songs done, fully produced, written, recorded, mixed, mastered by him, three songs in just 90 days. Like my client Carlos, who actually recorded his first song in the first five weeks, and yes, he did make the beat for that. Now he's going crazy, releasing banger after banger after banger. Just like my client Jaden Ari, who actually got his first self-produced song done in 60 days. So this is the exact process that I teach all of those clients in my Rapid Fire Music Academy. So without further ado, what I wanna do is I wanna jump into this training. Make sure you pay close attention. Make sure you take notes. Let's get into it. The first thing I want to do is take you through this cheat sheet, which I will make available this document down below if you want to download this, but I want to walk you through all of the steps first. So step one is going to be recording. Okay. So step one is going to actually be the recording process. I know this is more of a mixing process video, but it's all part of it. Okay. Trust me. So we're going to record your first couple of takes to warm up, get comfortable, then get your levels right. Then we're gonna do pre-mixing, and I'm gonna show you exactly what we use for that. We'll do tuning, EQ, compression, de and a bus for vibes only. I'll show you what that means. Then we'll do a final recording. You can choose to actually record with the plugins on. You'll probably need to change your buffer size, then rendering your vocals, then the full mixing process. So we'll go back. First thing we're gonna do is the actual recording. So I'm personally using Logic Pro. This training, it does not matter what DAW you're in. It literally does not make a difference, okay? So I'm gonna take the beat that I have, which I fully produced the beat, and I'm gonna drag it in. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the BPM of my session to match the BPM of the beat. I've got my lyrics here as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and go find where the beat starts where I wanna record. Right there, perfect. And I'm just gonna put a loop and I'll give myself a little lead in. Now, the only thing I'm gonna do right now is I am gonna put some tuning on it right this second. I personally am gonna use what's called Waves Tune Real Time. You can use a stock plugin if you'd like, it doesn't matter, okay? The song, I believe, is in C. So I'm gonna set it to C, and I'm just gonna turn the auto-tune way the fuck up, because why not? I can do whatever I want. And then I'm just gonna do one quick take to record, get my levels, and then I'll show you how the pre-mixing is gonna go. So let's do it. And I'm gonna make these a little bigger. My bad, I wanted to get the uh, lyrics a little bigger. All right, here we go, yeah. Obviously the beat is quite a bit louder than the vocals. That's fine. It doesn't matter. One tip that is definitely going to be a good gem for you is when you're recording, make sure that you're recording a tiny bit quieter because I'm going to show you with all the process that we do, you're going to be able to make your vocals pop. Worst case scenario, if in your headphones, like, nah, the beat is just too loud. I'm just going to turn the beat down a little bit for right now. So it sounds a little bit more balanced, but right now this is really good. Okay. So I've kind of got my first take. I'm just going to do one more take just to warm up. And I don't want to record too loud. 
Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been asleep so long I just might fade away Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase, yeah Go crazy, yeah I've been working hard for more, always open my own doors We gon' ride into the sunset, ain't looking back at the shore I've been working hard for more, always open my own doors We gon' ride into the sunset, ain't looking back at the shore Awesome. Okay, cool. That's good enough. So just want to get a quick recording. So now let's go back to our handy dandy word doc and let's get into the actual pre-mixing. So we're going to have tuning, EQ, compression, de-esser, and we're going to bust. So check this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little process called pre-mixing. So I'm going to pre-mix these vocals right here. So the first thing I have, yes, I have uh, waves tune. So the tuning, then I'm going to throw an EQ. So in this video, you're going to actually get a little bit of EQing lessons from me. And I use this EQ. It doesn't matter what EQ you use, actually. Um, and I'm going to do this and mute the beat while I do it. And so what I'm going to do is cut out all the frequencies I don't want, essentially. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days. And I know that you're going to, you know, I'm probably going to want to cut out the low ends to about 140, 150. I'm even going to cut some of the high ends, but I'll talk to you about that in a sec. Next thing I do when I EQ is I'm literally just going to take a nice skinny band, pull it way up, and then I'm going to drag and do what's called scanning the EQ to find frequencies I don't like. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days, and I've been asleep so long I just might fade away. You hear that hollow like sound right there? We want to take that out. Just about... 0 0.5 to 2 dB, not a lot. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days. And I've been asleep so long, I just might fade away. Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase, yeah. Go crazy, yeah. I've been working hard for more, always open my own doors. We gon' ride into the sunset, ain't looking back at the shore. I've been working hard for more, always open my own doors. We gon' ride into the sunset, ain't looking back at the shore. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been asleep so long I just might fade away Too busy making plays Cool, so then I'm going to take a little bit actually out of the high end I know a lot of people on YouTube are going to tell you to do something like this And just boost the high end Sometimes it gets so Oh, we want that high end You don't always want all of this high end though So what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to pull that down here Turn it off Is I'm going to actually take out up to like maybe... 15 14k sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days and i've been asleep so long i just might fade away solid that's it that's all i'm gonna do right there awesome next thing i'll do is a little bit of compression i'm gonna use this one called cla 3a um you can use any compressor you want just make it sound a little bit beefy Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been asleep so long I just might fade away Too busy making plays, gotta Love that Then the next thing I'm gonna do is a de -esser. And what that does is a de -esser Basically takes out the harsh S's and P's I'm just gonna pull it down to like 27, 30 Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been asleep so long I just might fade away Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase Love smooth, super smooth, love that That's all I'm gonna do Next thing I'll do is I'm gonna do what's called a bus For reverb and delay And there is this very specific reason as to why I don't want to put it right on the main track But I'll tell you that in a minute So, or after we record So here in Logic, you can go to Sends, and this is called an auxiliary channel. If you're using Ableton or FL Studio, all you have to do is go Google. Um, you could say how to set up an auxiliary channel, AUX, right? So in this video, it's a lot about principles. So I'm just going to do a little bit of delay and reverb, and I'm going to use one of my favorite delays. It's called H delay. Um, and... Uh, wait a minute. It should be. Hold on. It should be to. Uh... Should be able to do it. With the host. I'm not sure why it's not. So. I'm not sure why. It's... Oh, BPM. Got it. There we go. 146, and we'll uh, we'll figure out exactly how much feedback we want. We'll we'll, we'll cross that bridge later. Um. 
and then we'll throw a little bit of reverb on there. Um, I use a re it doesn't again doesn't really matter what reverb you use like it really doesn't matter. Um, but I'm gonna go with what's it called ROM. It's one of my favorites, and we'll just put it on. We'll we'll mess with all this stuff in just a minute, just to make sure we got it. And then I'll EQ that. All right. So now I'm gonna play the track one more time and hear how it sounds. And notice how I had to turn up the actual send, aka the volume of the bus. So let's hear it. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days. And I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away. Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase, yeah. Go crazy, yeah. I've been working hard for more, always open my own doors. We gon' ride into the sunset and looking back at the shore. One cool thing you can even do if you want, this is some kind of advanced stuff, is um, you can actually EQ your reverb. So you can put an EQ like legit EQ on your reverb and you can actually solo that and now listen to just the reverb. Sometimes it gets so cold on a rainy day and I've been sleep so long I just might fade away. Too busy making plays got to stay on So same days. concept. Yeah, go crazy. Yeah. I've been working hard for more. Always open my own doors. We gon' ride into the sunset and looking back at the shore. I've been working hard for more. Always open my own doors. We gon' ride into the sunset and looking back at the shore. Love that. Cool. I think now we're pretty much ready to record. So, so let's, let's. Ooh, that sounds, that sounds sick. sick. All right, All right let's, let's get, get it. it. So, so now, now we're, we're gonna, gonna go into. into let's go back, back to the, the uh, document. document. Um, um, cool. We've, we've got, got this down. down. Now, now we're gonna, gonna go into, into final, final recording. recording. And, and if, if you, you want, want like, like, you can turn all those off and just record raw vocals. I'm going to record with everything on because I think it sounds dope. And then you might need to go change your I.O. buffer size. I'm just going to keep mine there. If any problems occur, then I'll change it. But for right now, this is probably good. And uh, basically what we're going to do is we're just going to record until I get a final recording. Um, so what I'll do is not to bore you watching me record a million takes over and over. I'll just go ahead and skip the video until we get to a final recording. All right. Well, let's get to it. Sometime it gets so cold on them rainy days. And I've been sleep so long I just might fade away. Too busy making plays. Gotta stay on phase. Yeah. Go crazy. Yeah. I've been working hard for more. Always open my own the sunset ain't looking back at the shore i've been working off for more always open my own doors we gonna ride until the sunset ain't looking back at the shore okay so that is gonna be the final recording i'm gonna go with now i do want to kind of interrupt and say something i probably should have said at the beginning of this training but you might be like lee if we're doing a vocal mixing training like why are we getting into recording because look, you cannot mix your way out of a bad recording. And if you're recording vocals at home, you need to make sure that your vocals are being recorded the right way. If you record your vocals and they're not good and they're too loud and they're clipping and all this shit, it is gonna, it, you can't mix your way out of it. Also, on the flip, if you make sure your vocals sound really good before you even start mixing, like we're pre-mixing, Dude, when we get into the actual mixing phase, it's a no-brainer. Your bo your vocals are going to sound so good. Like, it's going to be insane. So, we've got our final take right here. I'm just going to trim the beginning of it. We're going to keep this take. I'll kind of trim the end as well. And uh, we'll just put a quick loop on here. And so, one thing I do want to do is save this project. I should, I should have probably done that at the beginning. Um, we'll call this Rainy Days Recording Session. Sweet. And I'm going to just title this chorus lead. Now, what I generally like to do is I will go record a ton of layers, but to save you some time, I'm not going to do that. We're just going to mix this one single vocal, keep it real chill. So in the document, you'll notice that I put bus for vibes only. When I actually bounce this track out, I'm going to turn it off. So the next stage we're going to go to is called rendering your vocals in logic it's called bounce and plays but what we're going to do is we're going to actually render the vocal because what i want to do is i want to mix this vocal without the plugin showing but absorbed into the track so what i mean by that is this let's say i turn all of these off and i hear this vocal sometime it gets so cold on them rainy days kind of dull kind of flat not that good but when i turn on the plugins Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days. Sounds better, a little bit crispier. Obviously, the tuning has a lot to do with it. So 
I'm going to have this track be bounced in place. But what I'm going to do first is turn, turn back the tuning a little bit. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been sleep so long I just might fade away Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase, yeah Go crazy, yeah I've been working hard I just personally don't want it to be super digital sounding yet So here's the next thing I'm gonna do So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the track I'm gonna right click it I'm gonna right click, see how I right clicked in the blue part and it just gave me the takes You gotta do it up here at the top white bounce in place and i'm going to call this chorus lead and i'm going to have it go to a new track for the source track i'm just going to go ahead and leave it just the way it is keep all of that um keep all of that normalize off and we hit okay awesome and i'm just going to go ahead and mute the original and now what's really cool is this track right here that we're about to listen to Chorus lead underscore BIP. It has all of those plugins, but without us actually having to have those plugins. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days. Super dope. So that's the first part is the pre-mixing. Now let's get into full vocal mixing. So what I'm going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and rock and get started. First thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to throw the tuning back on there. Double tuning. Yes, I'm going to throw a little bit of double tuning just to make sure that everything sounds really, really good. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days, and I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away. Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase, yeah, go crazy, yeah, I've been working hard for more. Oh, we Love it, cool. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw what's called a preamp plugin uh, if you don't know what that is you can honestly like if you need a stock plugin um you can just literally google if you're in like logic logic pro um stock preamp plugin or you could even do your daw like ableton um i'm just personally going to be using one called sheps 73 don't worry about all this crazy stuff i'm just going to mess with the settings a little bit till i like what i hear Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been sleep so long So like here's like controlling the high end Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days and I This is the mid-range which has got a lot of mud in it Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been sleep so long I just might fade away And then this is the low end Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been sleep so long I just might fade away Sweet. Love it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to throw an EQ, very familiar process. And we're going to do the same kind of thing we did before where we're going to scan the EQ and find the stuff we like and don't. And we're going to keep the beat playing the whole time. Sometimes it gets so cold on the rainy days and I've been sleep so long I just might fade away. So we're going to go scan that EQ. Sometimes it gets so cold on the rainy days and I've been sleep so long I just might fade away. Making plays, gotta stay on base, yeah. Go crazy, yeah. I've been working hard for more. Always open my own doors. And sometimes you might need to solo out your vocal just to make sure it's all good. Sometimes it gets so cold on the rainy days. And I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away. Too busy making plays, gotta stay on base, yeah. Go crazy, yeah. I've been working off for more, always open my own doors. We gon' ride until the sunset, ain't looking back at the shore. I've been working off for more, always open my own doors. We gon' ride until the sunset, ain't looking back at the shore. A lot of those high end we don't like. I'm gonna take a little bit more high end out of here. Sometime it gets so cold on them rain. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little high end here to like the 7.5k or 8k range. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been sleep so long I just might fade away Too busy making plays, gotta stay With and without the EQ Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been sleep so long I just might fade away Clean Too busy making plays, gotta stay on bed Awesome, let's go with some compression Next, we're gonna go back to That same one from before CLA3A where is that? Uh, here we go. Little bit of compression. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days. And I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away. Too busy 
making plays, gotta stay on. Just want a little lift. The next thing is after the first compressor, there's a dual compression. So you could either copy the exact same compressor settings and just turn the gain down or go grab a whole new compressor, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go grab one called CLA 76. Um, but it doesn't matter. You can just grab the exact same d uh, compressor, copy it, and then just turn the gain down. I'm going to just grab a different one. Sometime it gets so cold on a rainy day. And what we're going for here is we want a little lift. So um, just like a little lift in the vocal. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days. A little bit of tightness. And I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away. Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase, yeah. Tiny bit. I love it. Good. Next thing we'll do, de -er again. Yes, I know we did it already, but we're going to do it again. Just to make sure we catch everything we need. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days. And I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away. Perfect. Next thing after that, some saturation. Um, you could use a distortion plugin, a chorus plugin. Like if you go to modulation, there's all these different plugins. I'm gonna use one from uh, from Waves called Magma BB Tubes. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been sleep so long I just might fade away Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase, yeah Go crazy, yeah I've been working off for more Always awesome. open my own doors We gon' ride until the sunset So the next one's gonna be a Poltec EQ um, Which if you have like Logic, you can go down to the Vintage EQ tube And you can mess around with these things um, I'm going to use a similar one from Waves that's called Puig Tech. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. And also, by the way, you can really tell how much louder the vocal sounds like without the plugins just right now. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days. And I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away. You hearing that, a rookie's going to be like, oh, the vocal's not loud enough. But you start adding stuff to it. You're like, oh, shit, this vocal's louder now. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days. So this is where you can start turning it down if you want. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days. And I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away. Let's mess with this Puig. I'm going to solo the vocal. Sometimes it gets so cold on them rainy days. And I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away. Too busy making plays, got to stay on phase, yeah. Go crazy, yeah. I've been working off for more, always open my own door. The sunset ain't looking back at the shore. I've been working off of my nice. always open. Last one I'm gonna use is called Fresh Air, and it's a free plugin from Slate. It's free. So there's literally just two knobs, mid-air and high air. Sometime it gets so cold on them rainy days. And I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away. Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase, yeah. Go crazy, yeah. I've been working off for more. Always open my own doors. We gon' ride until the sunset. Ain't looking back at the shore. Like, fuck yeah. The last thing we're gonna do, one final EQ. Just to make sure we clean this vocal up and we're definitely gonna solo it. Sometime it gets so cold. Oh, whoops, that's not the EQ. I want F6 RTA. Sometime it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase, yeah Go crazy, yeah I've been working off for more, always open my own doors We gon' ride until the sunset, ain't looking back at the shore I've been working off for more, always open my own doors We gon' ride until the sunset, ain't looking back at the shore Sometime it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase, yeah Go crazy, yeah I've been working off for more, always open my own doors We gon' ride until the sunset, ain't looking back at the shore I've been working off for more, always open my own doors We gon' ride until the sunset, ain't looking back at the shore Haven't even put the reverb and delay on there yet, but let's just hear this before and after. 
Sometime it gets so cold on them rainy days. And I've been sleep so long, I just might fade away. Too busy making Then with all everything. Stay on phase, yeah. Go crazy, yeah. I've been working hard for more. Always open my own doors. With we the beat. Right into the sunset. Ain't looking back at the shore. I've been working hard for more. Always open my own doors. Right into the sunset. Ain't look. Sometime it no gets plugins. so cold on them rainy days And I've been sleep so long I just might fade away Too busy making plays Gotta stay on phase, yeah Go crazy, yeah I've been working hard for more Always open my own doors We gon' ride until the sunset Ain't looking back at the shore I've been working hard for more Always open my own doors Last thing, we can just turn that same exact reverb and delay plugin back on And adjust that and see how it sounds Sometime it gets so cold on them rainy days And I've been sleep so long I just might fade away Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase, yeah Go crazy, yeah I've been working hard for more, always open my own doors We gon' ride until the sunset, ain't looking back at the shore I've been working hard for more, always open my own doors We gon' ride until the sunset, ain't looking back at the shore Sometime it gets so cold on them rainy days Sleep so long, I just might fade away. Too busy making plays, gotta stay on phase. Nice. Yeah. Go crazy, yeah. I've been working hard for more. Always open my own doors. We gon' ride until the sunset. Ain't looking back at the shore. I've been working hard for more. Always open my own doors. We gon' ride until the sunset. Ain't looking back at the shore. Sweet. Hell yeah. Vocal mix. So just so I can go through and kind of retranslate everything for you if you're taking notes or whatever, let me just go back. First of all, a little bit of tuning. In Logic Pro, in Ableton and FL, there's always stock um, There's always stock plugins for tuning. Just know that it's tuning. Um, this is a preamp plugin. Then we had an EQ, then a compressor, then a dual compressor, which was basically you could just copy the exact same compressor settings from before and just turn the gain down on the second one. Or you could have a second compressor. All we want to do is make it a little bit tighter. Then a de-esser. Then some kind of saturation or warmth or distortion plug-in. Then a Poltec EQ, which again, it's basically like a multi... Ah, that's a different kind of plug-in, but it's a Poltec, P-O-L, Poltec EQ. Um, which you can get as a, uh, there's stock plugins as well. Fresh Air plugin by Slate is free. And then one final EQ to clean it all up. Then reverb and delay. Really, really, really simple. Now, if you got value from this video, hopefully you did. I'm right. Like, I, I hope that you, you know, your time, energy, and attention was, was spent well and you feel like it was good. If you felt that way, then I'd love to invite you to come apply for my Rapid Fire Music Academy. So what's really cool is I don't just teach how to mix or mix vocals. In the academy, I actually teach the full production process. So how to produce instrumentals, record vocals, mix and master, right? Like this song, you guys just saw me mix the vocals, but I actually made the beat. In the academy, I show you full mixing, not just mixing vocals right? I show you full mixing and full mastering, which is how to get your song to sound great in every speaker system. It's what you need. And if that sounds interesting to you, then I'd love for you to come click below and book a call with me. Book a call, go apply to see if this program is the right fit for you. It would be my honor to have a call with you to see if it is and to support you in your music journey. So thanks so much for watching this training and uh, look forward to speaking with you soon. Peace.